Marissa! I'm crying. Hey guys, Trey here. Julia here! Now, if you remember one of our old videos, Julia lost a bet. And you know what she had to do if she lost the bet? Dal makhni. Ooh. She has to make dal makhni for me, which, oh. as you might know from the video, is my favorite. Now, Julia does know how to cook dal, but that's yellow dal. She's never made dal makhni before. She knows the recipe, but... I know that this is really hard, and I actually wanted to thank all of those aunties that in the comment of that video wrote me all the fastest and easiest recipes and I'm gonna try to make round roti yeah! so we're making dal makhni and roti today Julia's doing it all by herself if she doesn't do a good job she will have to do it again and again and again until she finally makes the perfect dal makhni and perfectly round roti yes challenge accepted challenge accepted let's go <laughs> I looked up the recipe online and these are the ingredients we will need Garam masala, red chili powder, butter of course and I'm also gonna use a bit of ghee Yes! He's happy about it Ginger and garlic, we're gonna have to make a paste out of this too Salt, fresh cream, tomato paste and Urad dal with red kidney beans We actually I think you call rajma Rajma, yes that's right yes. And these have been soaked for 24 hours, so that's it. We are ready. Let's get it started. So she got the ingredients right, but can she actually make a good dal makhni? Mm. Of course. Let's find out. And now the first thing I gotta do is to make ginger julians. Julians, Julia, julians. So ginger julians are ready. Now it's time to move on to the ginger and garlic paste. The dal makhani needs a lot of it. Let's go. Almost all Indian food needs the ginger garlic paste. So That's true. this is an essential ingredient. Yes. And we actually prefer to do it at home because the ones that you buy in the shops, they taste a bit weird, right? Our ginger and garlic paste is ready. Oh my god, it smells amazing! Now we're gonna put the urad dal and the rajma inside the pressure cooker and we're gonna wait for a few whistles. I wanted to say something about the pressure cooker. Well guys, the thing is like, Julia never knew what like pressure cookers are. What? We gotta use them it's, in Italy. It's only because of me actually that she now knows what they are, how they are used. And actually yeah. she likes them a lot, so when she goes back home, I think she's gonna buy one for her parents. This is really big, thanks Nani for getting it for us. Alright, ready to whistle! Mm. Huh? What? This side. <laughs> I always get confused with this. Okay, so what's happening right now? Now we're waiting for the first whistle to come. I don't know why I'm always like excited when the whistle comes. I always come to the kitchen, I'm like, yay! <laughs> Anyway. Sometimes you also get scared like the whistle, like whoa, what's happening? I think in the meanwhile, while we wait for the whistles, I think it's a good time to make the, the atta for the rotis, right? Yes, roti! I love rotis. Let's take out the stuff. She always gets so excited about the whistles. I don't do this all the time though, no, don't worry. <laughs> Otherwise you might think I'm crazy. I mean, I'm a bit crazy, but not like that. So, I know that I have to add a bit of water. How do you like it? I like doing any type of dose. It's done. All my hands are dirty. That means they must be good. Now it's time to let it rest. Okay, and let's focus uh, our attention back on the dal now. Yes, back on the dal. I think we got enough whistles. I guess. Yay! That's super soft. You can see it. Now it's time to move into the next step. So, now it's time to start the core process of cooking dal makhni. So we come to the actual cooking. Yes in the pan and of course 
there is a lot of butter included in this recipe. She she never likes when I put a lot of uh, when I have a lot of butter. No, 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 no. But I have to say like the the name dal makhni, so there's the dal, which is of course the dal that we have, but makhni means actually like makhan. So makhan is Indian butter and there's a lot of lot of butter, lot of ghee in this. So that's actually what gives the taste. So baby, go easy on the butter. Just put as much as possible. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to put half of this in the pan, but at the same time, the favorite ingredient of Shri, ghee. that is ghee. Or as they would say in Punjabi, ghee. Oh, really? Yeah. So, we put four teaspoons. One, two, three, four. So, now you know a bit of numbers in Italian too. Wow, I can already see the cholesterol in this. Yes, there is a lot of cholesterol included and that's why I'm not a big fan of the amount of butter. Okay, so now it's melted and I gotta put the ginger and garlic paste. Tomato paste. Time to put two teaspoons of salt. Gotta go exactly as per measurement. Three four teaspoon of garam masala. Mm -hmm. And maybe a little bit of red chili powder. Maybe yeah. one one teaspoon of red chili powder. Yeah. Also, all these spices, I had no idea about it. Like honestly, I had no idea about all these spices. I didn't know how to use them. What? Uh, but I always wanted to learn, so I'm actually really happy to start cooking more Indian. I'm making basically my mom buying all this different coriander and cumin powder. So now it's time to put the dal inside. I have to be extremely careful because probably I'm gonna create a mess. But as far as I know, I need to put it inside with the water because it's gonna give yeah. the right color, right? The water adds the color. I'm fresh. I never told you guys, but do you know that I can speak a lot of languages? How many languages do I speak, Shrey? So, guys, Julia speaks Italian, yes. of course. She speaks English. Yes. She speaks Spanish. Yes. And she speaks German. Yes. <laughs> and I hope pretty soon she will speak Hindi. Yeah. I need you have to learn Hindi though, so if you know an app or something or like a nice TV series where I can basically see the, sub the subtitles in English but I can listen to Hindi, let me know in the comments below because I really want to learn and I want to do also some intensive learning. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to your advice. Okay, time to put the ginger. Ginger Julian. Okay, so what we need to do now is just let it cook for two or three hours. Yes, wow, it takes so much time. Like two, three hours is a lot. In the meanwhile, I think we can start making... Roti! Round roti. So, I'm gonna make a bowl out of this dough. You will see that the dough is a bit liquidy and that's because we're gonna use the roti maker down there. That's a gift from Trey's mom. Thank you, auntie. She knows how much Shrey loves rotis. Okay, so after doing the bowl, I'm gonna put the bowl inside the atta, then create another bowl again so that it's a bit dry. Time to put it in the roti maker. Wow. <laughs> Is it perfect in round? Uh, I'll give you eight on 10 for that. No! Why does this dal take so long? That's the smell right. is so nice. Okay, so time to see the magic happening again. Now I turn it and now it's time to see. Roti maker magic. Come up, come up, come up! Yeah, this is magic to me. Okay, so the dal is ready. The rotis are ready. But baby, there's one thing missing. Onion! 
you have seen our first video, it actually went viral. There were so many comments about raw onions. It was my first shock about being with an Indian boyfriend, I have so, to say. I didn't know. Dal makhani is totally incomplete without raw onions, baby. <laughs> Why? Onions, please! So, time to cut the raw onions. And I need to make onion rings, because Shay always tells me he wants onion rings. There's, I think, no oh North God. Indian food is complete without raw onions. You're gonna have to stay away from me for like, I don't know, some hours. I'm crying. How do they do this in India? Ah, I'm crying. <laughs> so, the dal magni is ready. What do you think about it, Shrey? Wow, it looks amazing. Right? The texture looks really creamy. It took a bit of time to get there, but we managed. Alright, so dal makhani first. Now I'm gonna garnish it with a bit of cream and I'm gonna make a heart. Aww. One side and then the other side. What do you think? Does it look like a heart? I mean, a bit. Wow. Dal makhani. Wow, so dal, roti, raw onions and coke. This is like the ultimate combination. It's one of my favorite combinations. And the dal looks amazing. Thanks for that little heart on the dal, baby. Shall we try it? Let's try it. I'm excited. All right. I'm also excited. Let's see. I want to know how it is. Oh my God. This is amazing. Are you doing it for the camera or oh, is it real? <laughs> for real. Yeah? Wow, I'm such a lucky man. You the lucky me. This is amazing. High five with the camera. I think you've, you've done a fantastic job. With a little bit of my help, of course. Of course, I would have never done it without you. But this considering is this is the, the first time that you're making dal, dal makhani, this is a brilliant job, amazing. Yay! So, as you can see, Shrey is already busy eating and I'm so hungry and I also want to eat my dal makhani. Thank you for watching. If you liked my cooking skills, let me know in the comments below. Let me also know if you want me to do more videos of me cooking Indian dishes, Italian dishes, whatever you want. But I really want to know. And I have to say one thing guys, I think you've done a great job baby. So thank you so much. I'm really lucky to have you. This dal is amazing. As always, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.